starting in February 11, 2019, BART is going to stop service from 4 a.m. and move it to 5 a.m. And this is going to affect all the hotel industry workers. This is going to affect our entire union, servers, cooks, bussers, dishwashers, stewards, um, who get to work at 5 o'clock. 35 years ago, breakfast used to be served at 8 o'clock in the morning, 7.30 in the morning. Now it's served at 6 in the morning, and we have like taco trucks, you know, for breakfast because conventioners like Google and Twitter and, and all these people packed in the day for their conventioners from like 6 in the morning till 11 o'clock at night, and the guests have to be wow, 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 which takes a lot of labor, and it's great that there's more jobs. But now that BART has made the decision to shut down from four to five, many hundreds of workers will not be able to get to work without having to drive to work. They've set up a bus bridge system that really only benefits the most outer parts of the system. Anybody inner city is left in the dust to, to scramble to find a way to get into the city. And the other thing I, I thought about is we all voted for MR3 to pass, which is a raise in the bridge toll of $3 over the next five years to reduce congestion. And BART is a recipient of that money. And in fact, this whole closure is just going to add to the congestion even earlier in the morning. I, it's, a, it's sort of a contradiction. In, and service, I, how do they get money, yet they're, they're dumping people into the street and onto the bridge? Um, so a lot of working people are affected by this transportation transit. And you asked for more money from the hotels to pay for this? We asked, we asked for a transportation stipend, stipend in this contract, and they really, they, they just scoffed at that, uh, that askance. Um, and really, we wanted the bosses to get some skin in the game, go to BART with us and talk to BART about it, and they just blew it off like it wasn't, it's not an issue. Um, I don't think people really understand what's going to happen. BART is sleepily and very small communications about what's going to happen. If there's an Uber guy on the BART board, so they, they I, want to privatize. One of the, I went to the last BART board meeting and I showed them surveys that we did of our own membership at, who favored doing single tracking, which they could single track a train into the city, um, which would least affect 12, 24,000 hotel workers. And the one BART board member who also drives for Uber just rebuked that whole concept he was like, the bus has left the station, lady, and uh, this is the responsibility now of your employer to take care of how you're going to get to work. But also in that meeting, they said how they had made an accommodation for a San Francisco Mission Pie Shop. They were going to put in a special bus node for a company that has 50 to maybe 100 workers. Not all of those workers are there at five. Um, but they put in a special bus node for one company, but for the hotel industry, they're like saying, you know, this is your own problem. You work it out with your boss. This is 25,000 work? This is 25,000 workers in an industry that supports this city financially. I mean, a big chunk of the revenue in this city comes from the hotel industry. We are a major workforce, and, and they have reported in the press that they've talked to Local 2 when, in fact, they haven't. We've been waiting for them to contact us with, about our surveys we conducted. We made two phone calls to them. They did not return our phone calls. At the last BART board meeting when I made my presentation, the director, program director said she would contact me with e by email. She contacted me once. I gave her my schedule. I haven't heard from her since.